Hi, Derek here with a demonstration of how to capture photos from an AppSheet app and add them to your Google Sheet as a clickable link. So I have a Google Sheet here, a pretty simple setup, ID column, a photo column. This is a relative path to where the image file is saved relative to where the spreadsheet is located inside of my drive and then a link. And this is really what the demo is focused on is how do we create this clickable link so that a person can access the photos directly from the Google Sheet as well. Uh, there is a related help article here for external URL um, uh, image files, and it provides a concatenate function here for how you can make a link that opens through AppSheet. Uh, the uh, trade-off there is described here where uh, the link that's created can be accessed anonymously, you know, meaning that people don't need to sign in. Um, so anybody with the link can access that image. Uh, so that's only appropriate for non-sensitive content. What this demo does is it creates this uh, link that opens through my drive. So you can control the permissions for who can access that link, uh, the same as you control permissions for any other file stored in my drive. So let's see how that was made inside of AppSheet. Uh, here's my example app, and I have that images table added to the application. And most of what we want to look at is here in the automation. So when a new image record is added, it triggers this process. Uh, the first is a uh, call out to app script. It will trigger this uh, image links app script project, which has a function called main. Uh, that expects a parameter called file name, and the file name is passed from AppSheet to the uh, to the AppScript function using this this uh, expression here. And what that's doing is it's uh, it's extracting the last part of the uh, image uh, file name. So I'll show you in the spreadsheet. Here we have uh, the folder name images underscore images, and then the uh, slash, and then there's the file name itself. So that formula is extracting everything here between 29b to .jpg. It's passing that to the app script function and uh, then it receives the response from app sheet or excuse me from app script. Uh, it'll and, and then we can use that downstream. So let's take a look at that app script function. Here's that main function. Here's the file name parameter that it's expecting and a uh, pretty simple script here. It is getting a file based on the file name that was passed to it. And this works really well for files that are created by AppSheet because I'll go back to the spreadsheet. The files have a very unique uh, file name uh, that's incorporating this uh, eight character alphanumeric sequence into the file name. So it's very likely to be unique within uh, all of the files in Drive. And so when we get that uh, file by name, we don't really run a risk of having multiple files with the same name. The script then takes that file and gets the URL and returns that. Inside of AppSheet, we can see that the uh, return is getting uh, specified as a URL and it describes right here how we can use that. So use the output of this function by using file URL .output in a process expression. So that process expression, that's what we have here. The next step of this automation is to write the URL to a data source. Uh, so this is a set row values action. It's setting the value of that link column and it's doing exactly what the previous step told us uh, to access that return value through file url.output. So let's see all that in action. Come over here and let's add a new record. I'll grab the app sheet logo here save this form and we can see that syncing let's go over and wait for that in the data source and there it is uh, there's the relative path to the image and there's our clickable link in google drive uh, so i've added links so that you can uh, copy this app and use it as a reference uh, when you're building out your own applications uh, just a quick note uh, when you copy it uh, the the app will uh, come with these links. These are, of course, pointing to files that are in my drive. And so you'd probably just delete those and start fresh uh, with, with links that point to files that are in your drive. Secondly, the uh, app script function here, it doesn't copy with the app currently. Uh, so what, I added the link to this as well. You can uh, um, create a new app script project in 
your drive and then come into the copy of the app that you make, go to automation, come to this file URL and point the uh, uh, point this automation to the project that you create in your own my drive. And then you can copy in that example function uh, that I shared as well. And uh, that should get you there. You, you may, uh, if, if you need to, you can of course use the template app to uh, reference any of the you know expressions or, or setup configuration that I have here. Uh, so that's all. Uh, thank you for watching and happy app building.